So number seven on the list. <laughs> number seven on the list. How have you been surviving quarantine? Like before I even start this video, comment down below and give me some tips, honey. I need to know, I need to know what y'all been doing. Cause I, but before you comment or like subscribe, 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 subscribe. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be here today with a new video. My quarantine survival kit. to go through a few things that have helped me survive the 2020 corona quarantine if it is your first time go ahead and subscribe come along and go on these journeys with me um so if you can't see i'm wearing no makeup today i ain't got time for that hopefully y'all can appreciate me flaws and all but we're just gonna go ahead and get into the video okay so the first thing on my list is going to be the last dance so have y'all been tuning in to espn on sunday nights at nine because i have i've been missing insecure just to watch this documentary the goat michael jordan the last dance best sports documentary i've ever watched is kind of like this extended 30 for 30 series and the finale tonight yeah if you have not watched it, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on Netflix. If you have a fire stick, just go ahead and tune in. The Last Dance, I don't even know how to put into words what it is, but it's monumental, it's amazing, and you will really be missing out when you get back into the office at work and you can't talk about The Last Dance. So I'm just gonna tell you, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and start watching The Last Dance because that is the first thing that has made my Sundays matter outside of church. That has made my Sundays matter watching the man, the myth, the Michael Jordan on ESPN for five Sundays straight, two hours. So 10 hours worth of Michael Jordan. Guys, guys, go watch it. So my next order of business, if you are into getting your nails done and you know going into the nail shop and having your you you have an addiction to that sound asmr asmr <laughs> so if you have an addiction to that sound i know the quarantine really stole your joy when all the businesses shut down and you couldn't go to the nail salon i don't usually get my nails done but like right before the quarantine i had started experimenting with press on nails and now i feel like i'm like slightly addicted and so what has been getting me through press on nails press on nails are all the rave i love kiss nails because they have like so many different lines they have the fantasy line they have the glitter line they have the french manicure they have the color line you name it <laughs> they got it so press on nails number two um in my quarantine survival kit if there's another quarantine i want to make sure i have this in there okay Okay, so number three on my list and i've been watching my other videos i always stop at number three it's like my brain just forgets that i was counting so i'm gonna try to stay on task this time number three on my list is dj d nice and club quarantine um which then birthed the versus battles which then birthed all of the facebook live um quarantine parties that all the other djs um rolled that way on <laughs> Yes, DJ D Nice, you started something. Um, tonight was the versus battle between Ludacris and Nelly. Last week was Erica Badu and the Jill Scott, like queen stuff. Um, there was Teddy Riley and Babyface. The versus battles, I really feel like DJ D Nice started that trend. And that really was amazing for the first um, couple of weeks. It really helped people to go ahead and, you know, just be one with their families and enjoy good music, nostalgic music, you know, things you hadn't heard in a while and just things you had never heard before you got to experience. So I really credit number three for like making it a little bit more bearable because so many things were birthed out of the quarantine, club quarantine. So thank you, Rona girl, because now we might we might have this around for a while these little quarantine parties so um yes dj need to be nice thank you thank you so the fourth thing on my list i'm sorry if y'all can see my clavicle bone i am a small petite girl 
okay so y'all can see that i'm not really strong and muscular it's just my body structure but number four the, i always get off on a tangent number four long walks like this quarantine has forced me to take some long walks but they're long beautiful walks they're long romantic walks i've even heard of my friends going on picnics things of the sort i take these walks with um my mom my dad sometimes by myself or even my brother and i we facetime as he runs around his neighborhood and i'm walking around this neighborhood so it has really been um you know motivating to go out get moving because it's not like we can live our day-to-day -day life so it makes you appreciate the small things like i appreciate that my parents have a neighborhood that i'm able to walk around and see a lake and just beautiful scenery and just admire nature you know take it all in so long walks romantic picnics um if you wasn't doing that before quarantine you know get your boo and say let's go on a walk i want to take a walk it, it, like it's so much fun exhilarating again it's just peaceful and serene and so zen take you a walk if you haven't done that because that is the fourth thing that i had in my little survival kit for quarantine and it has made a world of difference i've actually started counting my steps like seeing how many steps i take sometimes um because i don't really take steps when i'm at my own house <laughs> so yes get up get moving walk around your neighborhood take your boo on a picnic so number five on my list which should have been number one but i've done a whole video about it y'all know i enjoy church um i enjoy trying to be a better person today than i was yesterday um and i also enjoy just learning more and more about um you know spirit spirituality um i don't want to say religion because religion you can do anything religiously religiously just means it's a routine so i've been enjoying being able to look at different ministries and um grow as a spiritual being not a religious being um i will link my video down below um reasons that millennials don't go to church i honestly don't remember the name of the video why millennials don't attend church something like that and you can check out some beautiful ministries that i have been watching during the quarantine and i've actually been watching them prior to the quarantine it's a lifestyle for me so it's not just something that started during the quarantine but i've had more time to you know indulge in more with the quarantine so churching at home has been amazing um i actually get to go church hopping you know some people like to bar hop i be church hopping so <laughs> yeah go ahead you can do that the quarantine has like made it the new norm to do that on sundays i be at three four five church services now thanks to quarantine so i'm put a little bit of church in my quarantine survival kit number six y'all number six i know i know this got like a whole bunch of y'all through the quarantine that stimulus check that they wanted to bless the people with <laughs> how many of y'all's stimulus check got y'all through and i'm not even laughing because it, it was amazing like i appreciated my stimulus check and i hope y'all did too i hope that you put it towards some bills or towards a savings like just put it towards a good cause and i know that put some people like in a great position like if you was already you know doing what you needed to do with your money that little 1200 helped a little bit if you wasn't doing what you were supposed to be doing with your money that stimulus helped a little bit and you know if you just wanted to go on the shopping spree because you got it like that that stimulus helped honey thank you trump i'll take that <laughs> but honestly in all honesty what i wanted with my stimulus check is the oddest thing I wanted a freaking chair i will insert picture here of the beautiful chair that i bought <laughs> so thank you stimulus check so number seven on the list <laughs> number seven on the list is th this right here got my n95 mask i know that it has gotten a lot of y'all through the quarantine it doesn't help you not to get the corona I be wearing my mask. I don't know about y'all. I'm even just wear it in this video because, honey, you know, you can never be too sure. Never be too sure. But yes, these is getting people through. Like, 
I heard that maybe even on airplanes, you won't be able to get on without a mask. In some stores, in some cities, in some states, you can't get in without a mask. How you hating from outside of the Walmart? 